Am I in the middle? I am. Okay, I'm centered. I've got my rolls smoothed. Hi, welcome to my channel. Today we are making painted styling mats that roll up and you can take with you to weddings or shoots or whatever you're doing. And it is so easy. My last tutorial was super easy too. This one is actually easier if you can imagine that. And this tutorial will save you a lot of money. When you buy these styling boards online, you're gonna spend $50 or more per board. And that's just not in my budget right now. We're building a house. We have like 10 mouths to feed. And if you know me in real life, you know I love a, a bargain and a DIY and save money anytime I can. So I wanted to give you one of my techniques I use to make styling boards so you can save money too. I made four and it cost me $60, but that's just because I didn't use the entire roll of canvas. I could probably make 20 of these for $60, which is insane. Before we get started, be sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel and ring the bell so you get notifications every time I post. If you don't ring the bell, you don't get notifications. I don't know why, I don't make the rules. Anyway, let's go. You're going to need a roll of unstretched canvas. I found this one at Hobby Lobby on sale, so I snagged it, but I will link some similar below that's on Amazon just in case you are still quarantined and unable to go to a store. This canvas is 53 inches wide, so I divided that in half and got 26 and a half. So I was able to cut two canvases that are 26 and a half, and then my width would be 18 inches. This is much easier if you're using a yardstick or some measuring device that is not flexible, but I have no clue where my measuring stick went, so I used my measuring tape. I ended up cutting out four of these just because I wanted to make four different styling boards. You can cut however many you want. So take one of your canvases, lay it out flat and get your supplies. I used a two inch brush. It was a cheap one from Hobby Lobby and then matte acrylic paint. So my first board is a blush color and the color of paint I had, I wanted to test it to see how bright it would be on the canvas and it was very bright. So I ended up mixing it with gray just to neutralize it more and make it more of a soft pink. To mix the paint, you just scoop up some gray and whip it together, kind of like you're beating eggs. Then I just added splotches of white paint all around my canvas and got my pink paint and dabbed them all together. There's no rhyme or reason to how this should be done. Just make sure you don't fully blend the two colors or you'll be right back where you started with the bright pink paint. You can tell I'm really not precise about what I'm doing here. using about half of your paint bottle to mix your paint together with the gray just so you don't run out of it like I did. It's hard to show you an accurate depiction of this color. It's really a nice soft blush. Here is the one I made last week to give you an idea of the hue difference between the two. The one today is definitely a little warmer 
and more of a blush and not a true bubblegum pink like the one last week was. For my French blue board, I also added gray to tone down the blue. And I started by adding splotches of gray and white to give a little more dimension on this board. And I used the same technique as the last board, just with three colors instead of two. For my third board, I chose a gray color, and since my gray paint was a light gray and I wanted a little more dimension, I added a little black so I could mix the dark gray, the light gray, and the white. Notice my brush strokes are horizontal right now, but when I use this board, it's gonna go vertical, so my brush strokes will be up and down instead of side to side. So definitely keep that in mind. There you have it folks. I hope you enjoy this. I hope you take some time out of your week to try this. It is so quick and easy and it's a great craft for you to do with your friends or your kids, put them to work. Um, <laughs> mommy needs styling boards. <laughs> if I had kids, I would make them paint me like 20 of them. I'm thinking about making my dog paint some for me. Just kidding. If you're a photographer, be sure to check out my freebies below and join my private Facebook group. And next week, I will show you how to make a fabric styling board that's double-sided and will roll up and go with you as well. That one's a little more advanced, so I saved that one for next time. And I wanted to ease you into the DIY styling boards. So I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you save some money. I hope you get creative with it. This is really a great thing to add to your styling kit for when you're at weddings and there's nowhere really to photograph anything pretty. You could use your styling board. It really up levels your photos. It makes you look a little more editorial and it's much easier to get published when your bridal details are on a pretty surface, not just a wood floor or a tile floor that doesn't really match the wedding. I would love to see your creations and what you come up with and your behind the scenes on Instagram. So tag me at Allison Jeffers Photography. If there are any other types of styling boards or mats or services that you wanna learn how to make, comment below and let me know what it is and I'll get a tutorial out for you. If you're still with me, bless you. You're probably here for the bloopers later because you know there's plenty of them. Um, please like this video and subscribe to my channel. It really helps my business and I really appreciate it. I'll see you next week. Okay.
I'm like a brain fart. Did I s every time I post a new video. <laughs> Today we are doing, what are we doing? Rollable styling boards that roll, flexible styling boards, styling mats. Mm. Rollable styling mats. Okay, that's what we're doing. Today we are making, what is it again? <laughs> Uh, flexible styling mats. Rollable styling mats. Painted styling mats that roll up. Painted styling boards that roll up. That's it. <laughs> wow, I think I just like fell asleep for two seconds. <laughs> My nose itches. It must be that African dust that just flew in. I think I need something else. And join my private Facebook Facebook group. <laughs> Why can't I freaking talk? Why? This is like every time. I gotta elongate my neck. I I do this and I look like a fat turtle. You know, I have gained like 10 pounds in quarantine. I really didn't need to gain weight, if you know what I'm saying. Mm. It's just, that's beside the fact. That's good. 